Hey boys and girls. Today we are going to be reviewing what we learned in this chapter. So we're going to be in your book on page 233. And we're going to complete this review, um, these review problems to help us be prepared for our test tomorrow. Alright, so let's start looking at this together. What is the area of a rectangular rug with side lengths two and a half feet and one and a half feet? Use this grid to find the area and let each square represent a half a foot by a half a foot. So like we talked about earlier this week, it's important for us to look at what our dimensions are. We know we're finding area, which equals length times width. And our dimensions are both in halves, so we need to represent them that way here. And every little square is representing a half a foot by a half a foot. So if I'm going to do two and a half, then I've got a half and a half, which is a whole, a half, a half, which is a whole, and another half. So I'm showing my two and a half here, and my one and a half, 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 and then another hole would be right here. So this square would represent what I'm trying to do here, but we've got to remember that sometimes we have thirds, sometimes we have fourths. So I would make one, two, three to make a third, or to make a hole with thirds. So we need to make sure that we're looking at what they are. So all we were doing here is to help us find the area. So we can always, if drawing these pictures is confusing to you, you can always solve it and then see if you can find a picture that matches. But we can also look here and count these squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15, but the thing that can be confusing is you've got a half times a half, which means all of those are fourths, so this is 15 fourths. That's the part that gets a little confusing when you draw it. Okay, but if you'd rather figure out this equation, we know two and a half would be five halves, and one and a half is three halves, and we also get our 15 fourths that way. We make sure that we choose a model that also shows that. But the reason it's in fourths is because they're half times a half, and we know a half times a half is a fourth. So there's 15 of those little blocks, and they're each fourths. Number two, a closet measures six and four, one fourth feet by three and a half. How much carpeting is needed to cover the floor? Use the rectangle to draw an area model. Okay, remember the area model looks kind of like um, the box method when you multiply. So, and remember, it really doesn't matter how your picture looks. We've got six and a fourth. We'll just chop it right there. And our other one was three and a half. Again, you just kind of draw it how you want to. And then we're going to multiply these. Six times three is 18. Then we're multiplying three times a fourth. Well, I know a fourth three times is going to be three fourths. Six times a half. I know half of six is three. And then a fourth times a half. One times one is one. Two times four is eight. But whenever we have it this way, and again, this may not be the way you choose to do it, but we um, are going to need to recognize this, like I've told y'all so many times. So we've got 18 plus 3 is 21. And then we need to add our 3 fourths and our 1 eighth. Well, I know 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6. So that would be 7 eighths. 21 and 7 eighths. If you didn't want to choose to do it that way, and you need to work it out, and then see which model shows your answer, that would be fine. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25 fourths. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7 halves. 25 times 7, I know my quarters. 4 would be a dollar, so that would be 175. 
Either one, you're gonna have to do some work to do this. Okay, whoops. So I still had 21 with seven left over and I know I'm in eights. So that could also give you your answer. <clears throat> Excuse me, okay. Number three, Michael has a piece of wood that is two and a fourth feet long. He needs a second that's one and a half times as long. How long is the second piece of wood? <clears throat> so I have two and a fourth and I know I'm finding one one and a half times that size. So I know my answer is going to be larger. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out A. A doesn't make sense. That's less than what I had. An eighth is less than a fourth. If I have two and a fourth times one and a half, you can solve it whatever way is the best for you. Four times two is eight plus one is nine fourths. And one and a half is three halves. That would be 27 eighths. Here's an example. Ours is not in an improper fraction. It's a mixed number. So we know eight goes into 27 three whole times because that's 24, 25, 26, 27, and three eighths. So that would be B. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to four and four fifths. So if we're gonna do all of them, then we need to solve them. All right, so let's look at that first one. <clears throat> three times one and three fifths. Well, that makes sense because I know that it's gonna be larger than three. Now, does B make sense? Remember, it has to be equivalent or equal to four and four fifths. If I multiply five times something larger than one, I know I'm gonna get something larger than five. So that one doesn't make sense, okay? All right, um, we'll get to those as we get to them. I wanted to look at these fraction ones. Same with, okay, let's just look at A. Three times one and three fifths. We need to make these into fractions. I know that three over one is equivalent to three because three divided by one is still three. And one and three fifths, five times one is five, six, seven, eight fifths. That gives me 24 fifths. Let's see if that's equivalent to four and four fifths. Five can go into 24 four times and I have four fifths, so that one works. Let's try this one, four over one. Let's go ahead and change this. Five times one is five plus one is six fifths. Oh look, I get 24 fifths again, so I know that works. Let's think about what this one's saying. Four times four divided by five. Well, what is four times four? That's 16. 16 divided by five. Remember, a fraction is a division problem. 5 goes into 16 three times with one fifth left over. So that one is not. And let's look at this. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 5. Isn't that what we've been getting here? So I know that one is also 4 and 4 fifths. Alright. Let's look at the next page. Number 5. The distance from a campground to the lake is six and three-fourths miles. If Anya has hiked two-thirds of the way, how far is she from the lake? She's done two-thirds of that distance, so she hadn't done it all. So we're going to find two-thirds of six and three-fourths. I know to make this into a improper fraction. Two thirds times four times six is 24, 25, 26, 27 fourths. Over here, I'll work out my 27 times two is 14, and that would be 54 twelfths. So if we know our twelfths, our twelves, um, how many times does 12 go into 54? I know five times is 60. It's going to be four times, that's 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So I'm going to have six twelfths or four and a half. That makes sense because I knew it was going to be less than six and three fourths. Number six, 
<clears throat> Miguel spends three and a half hours working outside. He spends three fourths of that time working in the garden. How much time does he spend working in the garden? Write an equation. Three fourths of the three and a half. So a lot of his time is spent in the garden. Three times two is six plus one is seven halves times three fourths. Seven times three is 21 eighths. Eight goes into 21 two times because that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and five eighths. Two and five eighths is close to three and a half. He used almost all of his time there. All right, number seven. A closet floor measures two and a half feet by five and a half feet. What is the area of the closet floor? I'm going to let you do these by yourself. Make sure that you are finding the area, the length times the width, to solve that. Here, you're just finding these products. Make them improper. And then, 10, select all the equations that can be used to model the area of a paper. That's 2 and a third by 6 and a fourth. You see, some of them have improper and some don't. This is just representing this. So make them improper so you can see which of these are equivalent and which one will work. Definitely look at the answers also. So I want you to do seven, eight, nine, and 10 by yourself and work hard completing those.